Yeah, is in a somber mood this morning. Marshal of the Indian Air Force, who passed away at the age of 98, will be laid to rest with full state honors, as you can see on your screens this morning. The last rites of Marshal of the Air Force will be performed at Bra Square in Delhi at about 10 a.m. He will be put to the pyre. His mortal remains will be conveyed to the funeral site from his residence, uh, which is on at the moment. A state funeral has been accorded to him. As we are speaking this morning, a fly pass was also organized before the final rites at 10 a.m. this morning. Arjun Singh passed away at the Army Hospital in Delhi, where he was hospitalized due to critical illness. On your screens are latest visuals that are coming to you this morning from the Brass Square in Delhi. The top brass of our polity also present there today to bid farewell to Arjun Singh. In the studio with me, I have with me this morning Major General S.P. Sinha, defense expert, joining us live. I also have with me Wing Commander Raful Bakshi, aviation expert with us. I have a Commander Sharan Ahuja. I also have with me Major General K.K. Sinha, defense and strategic expert, joining us live. And Captain Alok Bansal. Gentlemen, a very good morning to all of you. Like I started off saying this morning, India, of course, uh, in a very somber mood today. But this is a tale of courage. This is a tale of inspiration. It's also a tale of extreme motivation for every Indian who has followed Arjun Singh. I'll make a start with you, sir. Yeah. Uh, before uh, you, the anchor, we had discussed many issues. But another important issue I would like to highlight about his personal life, longevity mm -hmm. of life of our marshals. Field Marshal Karipa mm. died in 1993 at the age of 94. Okay. Field Marshal Sam Manikshaw died in 2008 at the age of 94. Okay. And Marshal of the Air Force, Sri Arjun Singh Ji, died at the age of 1998 mm. in 2017. So one of the journalists asked mm. Marshal, what is the secret of your such a long life? Mm. Actually, to be very frank, this morning only I was thinking that if God has been kind, God should have given him two more years. We would have seen a century. Okay. But somehow, we have to go down to the wishes of Kal Dev. Right. So, so coming back to longevity, uh, Marshall died at the age of 98. Right. So they generally asked, Marshall, what is the secret of success of your mm. such a long life? Now, very important. For every youngster who is watching this, yes. every grown up in the age of 40 to 60 also who is watching this, first, he said, he said moderate habits, moderation in every walk of life. Mm -hmm. Even if you to do too much of yoga, you bend too much, mm -hmm. you will create problem for your bones. Mm. So moderation in every walk of life, first message. Mm. And second message he gave, a very beautiful thing, mm. very happy married life. Mm. Mr. Akshay, I would like to point out mm. the role of wives in armed forces. Mm. It is very, very important. In army, there, in armed forces, there is a saying, behind every successful man, Correct. there is a lady. Very good. Mm. There is a lady. Mm. And that lady was Mrs. Teji. Mm. And to quote Marshall, I'm quoting him. Mm. He said, Teji has been more helpful. I'm quoting him. Mm. He said, Teji has been more helpful than usual than she was in the pre previous innings. So uh, he has praised Teji. Let me tell you, Mr. Akshay, mm -hmm. that our ladies, wives, play a very important role in the career and uh, uh, married life of officers. Most of the time we are away. Yes. They take care of the house. Yes. They take care of the children. Yes. They forego and sacrifice their personal uh, physical relationship with the husband. Absolutely. And at times, many times, in the, pro in the process of serving the nation, they lose their husband. True. So at times, mm -hmm. even before you say Jack Robinson, their husband is gone. Mm -hmm. So no amount of respect, no amount of financial perks can, can compensate the type of uh, sacrifices that mm -hmm. our ladies make. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can tell you one thing. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, we in armed forces, I was asking, when I was a lieutenant, I asked a, a very senior lady, mm -hmm. ma'am, you're so beautiful. What is the best thing that uh, you find in armed forces, army? Yeah. She said, you know, you husbands are very caring. Okay. At that time, I was not married. Okay. It is a fact that we care. We give a lot of space to our uh, wives. Yes. A lot of respect. Yes. Even, a even if a chief walks in the officer's mess and if the lieutenant's wife is sitting, lieutenant wife need not get up. 
It is the chief who has to wish that lady, good morning, ma'am, how are you? Would you like to have tea, coffee? Wonderful. That is the type of respect we give to our ladies. So two very important points that you told us today, quoting, of course, um, uh, Marshall uh, Singh this morning. One, of course, moderation of everything in life, and second, about a happy married life. I'm going to quickly go across to the other panelists as well. Uh, Wing Commander Bakshi, you're in complete agreement. Uh, yeah, totally, a total agreement, because what uh, General Sena was saying, I will quote some examples, real-life example okay. to you. The first thing is, when we were children, mm. I'm talking of myself, mm. we were in King Edward Road mess in mm. Delhi. Mm. It just, it's, it's just next to the uh, uh, Janpath, mm. next, uh, India Gate. Mm. There, the functions used to be arranged. I'm talking of way back in 1954. Okay. And Arjun Singh, he was a young property group, group captain and all. And one day, he was, his, he and his wife were chief guests on a fancy dress show. Okay. And myself and my brother, we won a prize. And there was another prize which was won by a little boy who had taken part okay. and he had taken part he was allowed to take part he was a poor boy he okay. had taken part in that we got the prize but mrs teji bachchan made sure that poor boy gets a total scholarship okay. for education mind okay. you at that age and that th thought process and we were all uh, uh, talking everybody was talking we didn't understand the gravity of the thing as we grew up we understood. And then one day, when we were young officers, Mrs. Bachchan was in the mess. And one flying officer was introduced to her, him, her, and said, Madam, he's getting married tomorrow. So he was the so same boy. She said, Oh, married tomorrow? He's only flying officer. But I, when I was married, my husband was group captain. Huh, huh. So the, other, the, the staff officer who was standing next, he laughed and said, Madam, this chap will never become a group captain in his life. Her face fell. She was sad, and everybody thought it was a faux pas, and that this staff officer now will, is buying is buying it now. People asked her, and her husband asked, "Why are you worried?" Huh. Station commander was very. She was very sad next day. Huh. He said, "I was told this." Mm. He said, "But madam, we will admonish that officer. He's foolish. You shouldn't have talked." Like. Mm. He says, "No, don't punish him. I am sad because when I heard that this man will never become a group captain in his life." Huh. Why is it so Air Force has changed so much? And she pestered her uh, husband and uh, Air Chief, uh, that time Air Chief, uh, Arjun Singh Ji said, uh, I was pestered by my wife so much that my entire thought process uh, was going into how to get the promotion fast <laughs> because my wife was constantly nagging me. Okay. This is what I'm talking of, the involvement of wives. Right. So this is what uh, uh, Arjun Singh Ji was. Uh, so I would, would like to... Uh, again, uh, of course, recreate the statement, but it's the role of the wives right. which make the officer. Especially, I know army, but in fight of flying, it is totally out there okay. until a wife makes the complete home. The mind is not Absolutely. in the job, Absolutely. and you must understand. You have to go to somebody's house to understand this. I'm sure. So, I'm sure. I'll just quickly bring in a few more voices before I come back to you, sir. Uh, Commander Shadow Nahuja, while of course we're looking at these visuals that are coming to us this morning, retling ceremony that is on, 10 o'clock, of course, uh, a mortal remains will be taken to the pyre. But a lot of interesting stories we're speaking of in reference to uh, uh, Arjun Singh, his wife, Mrs. Bachchan. And, and would you like to share, would you like to share some of your memories, your experiences you've heard, some things that have inspired you of such heroic tales that we have seen where uh, Marshal Arjun Singh is concerned? Commander Sharan Ahuja. Oh, yes. Uh, the, yeah, there, 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 there is not one tale or there are very many stories or tales. The two, two stories about a marshal or the marshal of the A. Arjun Singh. One of them is still etched in my mind when he sold his farmhouse for two crores. He goes and tells his wife, Mrs. Teji, late Teji Arjun Singh, that I have done it and I have made you the lifetime trustee of that, of the two crore. So she asked uh, Arjun Singh, why have you made me the trustee lifelong? So he, with a grin on his face, he told, how could I sell without your permission? If I have, the money should be back into your kitty. So that is the way he made big, big things sound so simple. And that is the love and affection in every party as late as, say, 10 years back when they used to come to all the, on the Air Force Day and even on a naval functions, it was really mesmerizing seeing both of them. 
it was it was as if uh, both of them looked so handsome elegant and the way they used to conduct themselves throughout the party talking to every person every lady mm-hmm. who was there it's unimaginable and the I'll not be wrong in saying that both of them had an aura about themselves okay which even though I'm a naval officer you must be wondering how I'm speaking with so much of passion about them yes it is just because it is coming from the heart I'm it sure. is not made up or something and the things which come from the heart speaks volumes for this both the husband and wife okay. and what they have done for this country they have laid the keel of our indian air force and the other forces also i will say other forces also because right. he was instrumental in lot of things which is hidden from very many eyes right okay so uh, commander I ahuja i request you to stay with us uh, give me a couple of minutes because some of our panelists uh, uh, have to uh, go for other appointments this morning i will just come back to you but quickly uh, going across to media general sana in the studio before i bring in uh, captain bansal captain bansal just stay with me sir uh, please go ahead media general sana mr akshay when i was in sanic school uh, i had read a poem mm. by mr makhan lal chaturvedi mm. pushp ki abhilasha mm. and since the poem has been written in hindi it would be appropriate that you please allow me to please go mention ahead. in hindi please go ahead pushp ki abhilasha by makhan lal chaturvedi चाह नहीं मैं सुरबाला के गहनों में गूथा जाऊं चाह नहीं सम्राट के शव पर हे हरि डाला जाऊं चाह नहीं देवों के सिर पर चढ़ू भाग्य पे इठलाऊं मुझे तोड़ लेना बनमाली उस पथ पर देना तुम फेंक मातृभूमि पर शीश चढ़ाने जिस पथ जाए जाए वीर अनेक टुडे द फ्लावर्स व्हिच हैव बीन प्रेजेंटेड टू मार्शल ऑफ द एयर फोर्स आर आल्सो लकी Hmm. what a beautiful journey for those flowers no better end would have come to them but being honored by associating themselves with the body physical body of marshal of the air force That's with right. these remarks i salute marshal of the air force an outstanding soldier a role model an icon i salute him hmm. and bid him bye bye bid him adieu thank you so much thank you so much general sena i will uh, come back to you uh, I, i would want to add here okay. what he just said hmm. real life again when this he quoting this poem mm. i was spokesman in the ministry of defense okay and that time this thing used to come on the doordarshan and uh, 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 the the situation used to be shown that the poem is coming huh. and they should mujhe phek dena banmali us pat pat jana tum phek and they used to show not soldiers there but politicians and uh, political leaders used to be shown okay i wrote and went to the doordarshan i was spokesman Andy. i said makhan lal chaturvedi wrote it for the soldiers okay. how come you are showing politicians, politicians then. and that at time they showed and they started showing the brave warriors it is that time they started, they changed the thing right so this is a very meaningful poem and it it actually deserves Uh, the the brave soldiers must be remembered in this point now this is what i wanted to bring okay so just give me a couple of seconds i want to quickly go across uh, to captain bansal he's been waiting for a while I haven't been able to go to him just as yet uh, captain bansal morning sir sorry for keeping you on hold for so long but you also i believe have an appointment to make but please go ahead sir your first thoughts this morning as we discuss uh the whole nation of course in a somber the whole nation of course in a somber mood but like i said it's also a day when we are to remember the heroic tales of uh, marshal of the air force highest rank arjun singh and how he has led so many wars to success where india is concerned telling a tale of heroics go ahead sir your thoughts before you leave us for the morning captain bansal firstly we must understand that today as we consign his mortal remains to the holy pyre the last of the icons the last of the five star defense officers would be laid to rest actually and marshal of the indian air force arjun singh actually brought air force a fledgling service to what it is today hmm. today indian air force is respected globally as one of the finest air forces in the world but please remember Indian Air Force participated to some extent in JNK war but was kept out of the war in 1962 so 65 was the first war when he a young man of 45 46 was leading the Indian Air Force when Indian Air Force came out with flying colors against the air force which had far superior aircraft that is pakistan which being a part of the cento seto was getting all the mil- western military aid and had much superior aircraft it was his exemplary leadership which actually led 
Indian Air Force onto the right path and actually eventually ensured that Indian Air Force came out with flying colors in 65, which laid the foundation for greater glory to come in 1971 and subsequent operations. Mm. So this foundation for a combative, efficient Air Force was actually laid by Marshal of the Indian Air Force, Arjan Singh, who led Air Force at a very, very young age, as early as 46 when he was leading the Indian Air Force in a major war with mm. Pakistan, our Western adversary. Not only that, even after he left Air Force, he continued to be associated with public life. He held many appointments, including Lieutenant Governor, Ambassador, High Commissioner, Minorities Commission members, and even as late as till his last days, he was associated with Center for Air Power Studies, imbibing the youngsters, giving him the wisdom of his experience, telling them how to shape themselves. And what was impeccable and what was absolutely praiseworthy was that whenever you saw him, whenever you met him, he conducted himself with great dignity, mm. elan. Actually, despite his advanced age, when most people start bending backwards and are not in a position to move, he conducted himself with great dignity, right. becoming a role model for not only all Air Force officers, but for all defense officers and for all his countrymen. Right. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for joining us this morning, Captain Bansal, with your points of view. Let me also now go across to Mayor General K.K. Sena, who's joining us this morning. Uh, sir, go ahead. Uh, your thoughts as we track these visuals. It's a matter of minutes uh, where the mortal remains will be assigned to the pyre, and we'll see the final, final rites, the entire nation uh, bidding adieu to uh, Marshal of the Indian Air Force, Arjun Singh. Your thoughts this morning? Um, Akshay, um, you know, what, uh, you know, I explained it earlier that, you know, a legendary who has just passed away, a role model, an icon, any word, a rarest of rare, you know, when, we, we, when uh, you know, a legend is passed like this at age of 98 and, you know, after 19 years of age when he joined the Royal Air Force and thereafter completely dedicated himself for the nation. He is the contributor of a comprehensive national power. You know, when I say a comprehensive national power, you know, the Air Force is not the stand-alone mode, but it is a comprehensive national power of the complete military. In that military, the synergy between the ground and the air, which is the winning factor for any battle in the world. And today, the Air Force reach especially Indian Air Force reach, especially in the regional context from the state of Hormos to the state of Malacca. That what we are looking forward when the regional reach, it is all his doing. Mind you, step by step, brick by brick, he started with a, you know, a start with an absolutely zero sum game. You know, when he started, the, you know, 65, that is, you know, 62 is brought out, you know, the Indian Air Force was not used. 65, we didn't have those aircraft within Pakistan. You know, United States was giving, you know, the cyber, uh, jet aircraft to the Pakistan. We were still in the proper stage. This gentleman, just initial setback of 65, yes. turned the table till 22nd of September 1965, which I brought it out. And the synergy which we got it, which is the winning factor for any And, you know, the concept or the strategy of counter air operations, you know, it was given by him. A counter operations, of course, I can't explain it to you. Mm -hmm. It is a chapter in itself. I'm talking about the bigger contribution which he has given. I'm not saying the smaller, smaller, you know, everyone is bringing it out. Those are the contribution which the nation, uh, you know, owe to him. The nation owes to him the comprehensive national power which he has created along with the synergy with all three services. Today, when I look at him iconically, you know, when I read more and more about him, the way he started with the primitive, he's, he went to, you know, not the, you know, uh, the, he went toward the Warsaw side. You know, he, he got, got the our aircraft from Russia. <coughs> and he proved, because <coughs> Russian and, and the United States aircraft had never been used each other. But it has been tested by the how a small, small net which used to be called a mosquito, a, a mucher that time, has, you know, actually, you know, has taken out the sweat from the cyber jets of Americans. And 
today, if everyone is joining with the hand of India, probably he has laid the founder stone, uh, stone after, after 65 war. Right. 65 war, he retired in 69. 65, in four years time, he has laid the Air Force today what it is today, Akshay. Sure, sure. And Indeed. not only that, you know, I have happened to meet him a number of times. Okay. I have happened to play, you know, this gentleman was playing twice golf in, a, in the age of 98, uh, can you imagine? Wow. And I happened to play once with him in one of those cup. He was playing in the Delhi golf course. Okay. You mind you, this gentleman, even in that age, had the same killing instinct, probably what he picked it up at 19 years of age. The Incredible. same killing instinct he had. And that is what the India has to take it. What are the, uh, what our youth has to take it? That you don't live it. This gentleman was putting the full dress uniform with his button of the Marshal of Indian Air Force, yes. carrying everywhere at the age of 98, saluting all chain in command, start, you know, saluting president, saluting prime minister, any lady he was, he used to salute first. And that is what the officer, the gentleman is. If you have seen the movie, a called officer, the gentleman, he is the epitome. He okay. is, the, is the role model. The world will probably follow, provided we give this role model to the whole world. Okay, this is what the Indian armed forces are. Absolutely. What is the metal law these gentlemen has made of? Okay. And that is our youngsters has to imbibe. And these right. qualities is imbibed. No one can touch the comprehensive national power of the military has got you know a lot of say. Right. Will have to come out in that way. Okay. okay. Major General Sira requested you stay with us. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, Wing Commander Bakshi, there's something I've been wanting to ask you for a while and I was waiting for Major General to finish. Uh, for somebody who had joined uh, the Air Force at the age of 19, at the age of I think barely 45, he became the Air Force Chief and post that also he continued to serve for a number of years. Tell us about the kind of transition that Marshal of the Indian Air Force must have seen and the kind of aircraft he must have flown and how he led from the beginning. It's an incredible journey to speak of. Exactly. I would want you, uh, I wanted to bring this point yes. up. Yes. You see, when he joined, he was uh, flying uh, Wapiti. Hmm. Now, Wapiti was of the uh, biplane and had a tail gunner behind. Hmm. And I gave that incident that he was flying in the Waziristan. He post landed there and uh, we got hit. His gunner started running away. He ran behind his gunner caught him back and brought him back and says, don't worry, I am with you. No tribal can touch you. And that is what happened. Now, during the war of Burma, yeah. they took over Hur Hurricane Squadron and he also flew Lysanders there. And problem was that the Japanese had counter-attacked and uh, taken over uh, Indian, uh, the British Allied force. Mm. And they wanted a quick reaction. Now, there were no aircraft available. He got the Lysander, he taught the bombs of the, uh, uh, tied to the wheels of the Lysander, which is a communication aircraft. Okay. And he flew so low. Now, he was uh, very good in low flying, which I'll tell you later on. Okay. And he flew so low, the people thought that his wheels will hit the hut. Hit the ground. Okay. And he actually went and dropped the bombs right into the lap of Japanese. Japanese never expected the allied forces could counter-attack, counter-counter-attack so fast. Wow. And that is why the Japanese fell back and act was noticed and thereafter he also propagated when he was uh, flying the hurricane he says listen i can understand your break of height because you want to avoid the ricochet etc but he says this is war you have to close into the enemy and kill him as close as possible that is what his word it is not to be quoted number of times he has said not to be quoted okay. and that is what he again said in 1965 you want to hit the tank you have to go all out don't let the tank get away and this is what, you see, why the pilots break off at height? So that the ricochet of the bullet, etc. doesn't hit them back. Right. Safety height. The question is, is now it's war. You get the tank back, and the tank can't, out of action. This is what I want. Okay. And that is what. So his leadership was right from the front. And then you said, when 1948, the first vampires came, he was one of, of course, senior officers that time, the Air Force. Hmm. He flew the first vampires also along with that and made sure that everybody gets a uh, hang of the jet aircraft. Mm. And there was a famous uh, uh, the show which was held up where the Spitfire pilots were very anti this new jet aircraft that come. Mm. Mm. And they said, we can outdo a vampire. Mm. And a dogfight demonstration was uh, organized. Okay. And 
he knew exactly that at the lower height at 10 11000 feet a spitfire will get around the vampire okay. but at a higher height vampire will get him because of the performance of the aircraft sure he was a spitfire pilot also okay. and it was up to him now so he didn't want to let the pilots down he said we'll have two demonstrations at lower height and at <laughs> higher height, height. Okay. and yes and he said let me not let down the new machine also Absolutely. he said at 30000 feet <laughs> vampire will do better but at 12000 feet spitfire will do better now this is all see total in our leadership and, and, and then yeah. when the 65 when the 62 war was there yes he was aware that air force is being removed that was a black day for air force people do not know how to talk about it right. when six squadrons were removed from the eastern theater and let the indian army get defeated and indian uh, indian get defeated by the chinese the, he said a indian air force was 3 minutes flying time from the front targets why did we remove it but he said i did not want to sound political and mm -hmm. he said i kept quiet because mm -hmm. this is the time i knew my limits are here right. i cannot speak out of turn okay